Hello Sausage, it's Nana Beryl and today we're playing The Sims 2, yes. Now I promised you a part 4 to the Pride Month video, so it's a bit late but here it goes love, or a bit late. Now last time we visited Devoria, she was talking to egg munching fluff monkeys, wasn't she love? Yes she was going to, but then she found these little cracker barrels. Now who are you talking to Donnie? What are you doing, love? He's making big decisions about which drink he wants. And now he's going to check out his hand moisturisers and his fingernail polish with Brianka. That's right, Brianka Del Moro, who likes Moro bars, love, yes. And what are you doing, love? What are you doing, Lit Crush? What are, where are you going? Oh my God, love. Could your top be a little bit lower, love? If it was any lower, I don't think it could be, dear. No, it couldn't, because if it was any lower, darling, you'd be bouncing the moonbeams off of your boobies. Yes, you would, love. Now, she's going to eat something in there, and oh, did I see white chocolate Jesus again with the long hair? I think I did, love. Yes, there he is down the bottom at Burger King, darling, or Hungry Jacks, as we call it in Australia. Isn't that right, Sausage? Yes. Oh, let's have a look inside. Oh, and it's Brianka, and oh, look, it's Melania Grump. What are you doing there, love? Shouldn't you be at home looking after after your husband, dear? I hear he's just had his ear pierced. That didn't go very well, dear. No. Oh, and where are you going, Licorice? Oh, she's having a bit of a natter to her. Yes, she is. You should put on music, love. You need to turn on the jukebox and have a little bit of a jive. Anyway, meanwhile, love, meanwhile, now we've got Queen Rue Mall. And she's moving in, love. Yes, yeah, she's going to move into an apartment, I think, dear. Yeah. Yes, here we go, love. Where are you, dear? Oh, there you are in your yellow dress. Yes, you're looking amazing, aren't you, love? Yes, you are. And there's the little letter boxes, yes. Oh, look at her, love. She's looking for birds. Yes, she's looking at the birds. I didn't realise she liked birds, love. But then again, you can never tell these days, can you, dear? Whatever floats your boat, darling. Mm. Oh, and then I've just walked into a wall. That's I'm really good at doing that, aren't I, love? Yes. Now I think we should get you an apartment. Yes, like it says up here. So how about we get you to come up here, dear? You need to come up here and have a look. And we'll choose one of these for you to live in, Sausage. Yes, I think we will. How about we choose this one here? What do you think, dear? Yes, this one it is. Now we're going to spend exorbitant amounts of money that we can't afford on renting this apartment for you, love, during a cost of living crisis. Because that's what we do in The Sims, isn't it, love? Yes, it is. Oh, now what are we doing? We're going to go outside? We're going to talk to the locals, are we? We're going to talk to the unwashed, ma unwashed masses, I think. Oh, no. She wants to go outside and grab her box. Yes, she's going to go outside and grab her box. Yes, she hasn't grabbed her box in a while, love. You've been, it's been sitting there for ages. Round this way, love. Your box is over there. Oh, look, she's picked up her box. Very good on you, love. You've put your, back, your box back where it belongs. Now, I think we're going to speed this up, love, and we're going to start furnishing her house with some items from Target and Walmart. Yes, we are, love. Oh, look at this, love. Oh, a nice pink couch. We got that one from eBay. Second hand, love. Isn't it nice? Isn't it gorgeous? Yes, it is. Oh, we've got a TV on the wall. Now, we forgot the phone, didn't we, love? Yes. Put that there on the wall, love. Little phone. Very nice, darling. Yes, gorgeous. Now, we'll save that. It's taking a while to save, isn't it, dear? Oh, lovely. How do we get back down here, love? We need to get back down and find you. There we are. Oh, now you're going to have a bit of a gossip. Yes, you're going to talk to some people, love. Now she's going to talk to the unwashed masses. And she's talking to Devoria and Donnie, who've returned to visit her as she moves in. And Oh, look, there's two of you, love. Are you related? Is that your sister? I think it is. Yes, it is. It must be sister, because they share the same surname, love. Yes. Look at them. Don't they look alike, love? She's got a doppelganger. She's talking about the justice system. Oh, and now she said, what are you doing, love? Are you ringing somebody? Oh, you've been using that magic makeup stick called concealer, haven't you, love? I can see it on your eyelashes and your eyebrows, love. You got a bit carried away. Yes, I know, love. You need to go to the toilet, yes. Love, you look like you've just had an enema. Now, I think we'll choose to take her to the um, carnival, won't we? The drag carnival. Yes, we will. All right, love, go and have a big dump and then meet us outside, love, because your taxi will be arriving soon. Can't keep your taxi driver waiting. And who's driving your taxi today, love? Shall we have a look? I think we should have a look in this beautiful weather here in Simville. Come on, love, where are you going? 
put your tights on, darling. Pull up your tights and get your knickers on. And out the door. There we go, love. Oh, look at you. Look at her swish. Isn't she gorgeous, love? Yes. The Queen of America, love. Now she's the Queen of Zimbu at the moment. Oh, look at Simon. Hello, Simon. How are you doing, love? He's a good taxi driver, Simon is, isn't he? Yes, he is. He's got a very good licence. He's got a heavy trade licence, love. He's very good with excavators, is our Simon. So now we're going to visit the Carnival Centre. Yes, we are. Oh, and look, she's just arrived at the Drag Carnival. And she's just noticed the picture of Bianca Del Rio, haven't you, love? Yes, you have. And she says, well, slap my bum and call me a midget. I think that's Bianca. And she's 100% correct. Oh, and look at him, love. He looks a bit stressed. Look at how high he's holding his shoulders. You need a shoulder massage, love. Oh, and what are you doing? She says, hello, Nana Beryl. How are you? Oh, oh, and look, she fell off her horse. That'll teach you for drinking on the job, love. And he looks a bit hypnotised by the lava lamp. You do realise you're not meant to smoke your incense sticks, love. You're meant to just burn them, darling. Yes. Oh, and look at... Oh, look, love. It's Regina, Regina. How are you, Regina, Regina? You look like a stunned rabbit, dear. Yes, she does. In fact, you look more like an electrocuted bumblebee in a wig, dear. Yes, you do. Oh, and now we're back with... Oh, look, we're back with Rue Mall, and she's deciding which drink to get. Are you getting a Dr. Pepper sausage? She says, no, Nana Beryl, I'm getting a diet lemonade. Yes, she's getting a diet Sprite, love. Yes, she is. There she is, drinking her diet Sprite. Now, I think we'll leave you, love, and look at this poster of, of RuPaul over here, love. Mmm, yes, they're very good in her leopard skin outfit, isn't she? Oh, and what are you doing, dear? Where are you going? Oh, she's beautifying herself. She's titivating herself, love. Yes, titivating. Isn't that a lovely word, titivating? Making herself look gorgeous. She's checking the lace front on her wig to see if she melted it in. So Rue's going to talk to Juno Birch and she says, Hello Juno Birch, how are you? And she says, what, you mean besides stunning and gorgeous and looking better than the Mona Lisa painting by Leonardo da Vinci? Besides that, I've been doing things. Lots of things that are worth doing because some things are worth doing because some things are things that are worth doing. That's right, love, because that makes perfect sense, doesn't it, dear? Yes, she's a bit bored of listening to her talking about things. So now she's going to talk about other things. Yes, that's right, like the rain, the weather, and how beautiful her hands are. That's right, darling. Yes, now I think you should go in here to Juno's lounge. Yes, I do. I think you should go into Juno's lounge here. Yeah. Come on, love, get inside there and go and get a drink. Yes, and she likes her barman a bit younger. Yes, she does. She's a bit of a cougar. So she's going to go after him and she says, make me a drink, love. He says, what kind of drink? She says, whichever one will get you drunk so I can get into your pants when I get home, love. So she's going to get into his pants, yes. She wants him on his back with his legs in the air, love. Oh, it's a bit much, isn't it, love? It's a bit rude, Nana Beryl, to say that, but that's what she's thinking. But now she's discovered someone else she likes better. That's right, love, she's discovered this half-naked man over here, love. She quite li likes half-naked man, don't you, love? Yes, you do. Oh, and now she's... Oh, what are you doing, love? She's going to sit down because she's tired. Yes, she is. She's a little bit tired, love. And she has a bit of an itchy bottom. Yes, she does. She's been using special toilet paper that's not very good, love. It's got too much perfume in it. And so she's got a bit of an itchy bottom. You can tell by the look on her face, love. That's why she's wriggling around. Yes, you need some anusol. That's what you love, need, love. Yes, you do. You need some hemorrhoid cream, even though you haven't got hemorrhoids, love. Now, where are you going, dear? Oh, she's going into JB Hi-Fi. Now, what are you doing with the fridge? Oh, my God. They've got food in the fridge, love. How come you've got food? In a display fridge, darling. And she goes, I don't care, I'm eating it anyway. So she's eating the, the food that's probably off, because it's probably been sitting there for years. Darling, be careful, you don't want to get food poisoning. She says, Nana Beryl, they're only chocolate chip cookies. Well, what are you doing with chocolate chip cookies in a display fridge anyway? You don't need to refrigerate chocolate chip cookies. She says, yes you do, you do that so you don't get ants. So, All right, love, whatever you say. I think you should go over here and buy a game or look at these videos over here, love. These DVDs, these Blu-rays. Let's have a look at these horror movies and the Blu-ray DVDs. What shall we buy, love? Oh, okay, now we're going to visit Dixie Cartel instead. Hello, Dixie, what are you doing, sausage? Besides looking gorgeous. Look at her. 
Look at her strut her stuff. Yes, that's right, dear. Oh, and so Dixie's going to go into Burger King or Hungry Jack's and she's going to do adventurous things and eat food. Aren't you, love? Yes, you are. And half-naked man, what are you doing, love? And he says, I'm going to sit down here, eat some protein powder and I'm going to sprout those hairs out of my nose like you do when you get to 35 years old, love. Oh, you look good for 35, dear. You must be using Botox. So now Dixie's decided she's going to have a drink instead. Is she going to order a soy chai latte with chocolate on top? And she says, no, love, I'm going to order a cappuccino. Yes, so she's ordering her cappuccino and she's sitting there looking like a stunned rabbit. Yes, she is. She looks like a, a rabbit or a deer that's looked into the headlights of a car, don't you, love? Yes, now I think we should cross over and see who else is there as well, love. Yes, let's fast forward a little bit into the future, dear. Oh, and who else is here, darling? Besides you staff members, you don't look very busy, dear. What have we got going on here? Oh, look, it's, it's Brianka Del Moro, who likes Moro bars. What are you doing, love? And she says, I'm eating a Whopper burger. Yes, she is. She's eating a Whopper burger, and they've forgotten her hash bites and her diet Coca-Cola, love. She's not very happy about that. How dare you forget her Coca-Cola Burger King? It's not very good, love. It doesn't happen very often they forget things, though. Do they, love? No. It's usually when they're in a rush. You know, one, one big rush, love, and they're doing phone orders and all sorts of things, love. Probably for Uber. Oh, and now we've crossed over to, to Juno Birch's Lounge Bar, love, and we've got Queen Rue Moore here, and she's coming onto this little cracker barrel because she likes the way he wears his shorts, love. Yes, he likes those legs. She can't resist those, those legs, can you, love? No, you can't. But now she's got to go outside and practice for her big event. Yes, she's going to be singing later on, so she's going to go out and practice. And look what they've done, love. They've erected a stage for her, a special stage for her performance, and there's some seats there for the crowds when they come to see Rue Moore singing, love. So she's going to practice, yes, she's going to, oh, look at her, love, look at her go. Oh, love, yes, I don't know about that, dear, I think you need some strepsils. Yes, you do, you need something to soothe your vocal cords, love. Oh. Now, Rue's gone into Burger King, or Hungry Jack's, to talk to Angelina Jolie. Yes, she has, love, and she says, Hello, Angelina, I need some advice on adopting children. Can you give me some advice on how to adopt children from Somalia and Ethiopia? So she's going to have a bit of a conversation. She doesn't like politics, though. Oh, and look, at Sherilyn Yarns. It's our own Sherilyn Yarns from Australia, love, and she's come in to order some food, haven't you, dear? And she says, Yes, Chuck, I've come in to order some cake. So she wants some cake. And this is the waiter and asking her, What would you like? And she says, I want some Black Forest Ghetto cake. Chuck, so give it to me now. I want it thick with cream on top. Yes, so she's gone away to order some cake for her. Yes, for Cheryl and Yarns. Look at her, isn't she looking amazing in her little ears and her glasses. Yes, her little round John Lennon glasses of her big dangly earrings. Oh, look at her, love. She's looking amazing. Yes, she is. You've lost some weight, Cheryl, and look at you. You're looking amazing. Yes, you are, love. I do like the colour of your shirt, too. I think we made a good decision with that one. And here's your cake, dear. Oh, look at her, love. She's going to get stuck into that. Oh, look at her scoffing that down, darling. Be careful. What goes past the lips goes on the hip sausage. That's right. Oh, and look, I don't think they're getting on in the background. Is she having an argument with Angelina? Yes, I think they're having an argument. I think she must have asked to adopt some of her children. Yes, love. Oh, can't be having that, can we, dear? No, she doesn't like that idea. What are you doing, Cheryl? And she goes, well, I'm going home. I've got things to do. I've got to stop my flatmate from waffle stomping in my bloody shower. So she's got to go and call the plumber. Yes, she does. Oh, but she says, first of all, I'm going to say hello to Queen Rue Mall because I've never met a celebrity like her before. Now she's off home, yes, she's off home to call the plumber. Oh, my God, poor, poor woman. Yes, poor Cheryl and Oh, no, what are you doing out here? Oh, now, maybe we should have a look at the stage here that they've erected for her, love, to do her performance. Shall we have another look at the stage during daylight? Yes. Now, I've got a drum kit here, and also there is an electric guitar and some microphones and a keyboard, love. Yes, and I downloaded some of those things from Mod The Sims. And look at the photographs on the wall, love. I think we've got a catcher there too, haven't we, love? Yes. And look at the roof, darling. Look at the colours. Isn't it gorgeous? Yes, it is. Oh, it's a shame it's raining, though, isn't it? 
We've had a lot of rain in Sydney lately, haven't we? In Australia, yes we have. Hasn't been very nice, but it's cleared up off and on for the last few days, hasn't it? It's been at least a little bit better, dear. It was very awful for a while there. I got sick of all the rain, love. Yes, oh, and look, it's unsavoury Charlotte. And what are you doing, love? Oh, he's trying to steal her gold bracelets and her earrings. How dare you do that, love? I think you need to be reported to the police, love, so they can set up a roadblock and stop you. You naughty little bugger. That's right. Don't hold on to your hat and try and disappear under it, love. Just go away and leave her alone. Yes, that's right. Now, Rue... Hurry up and go and put your knickers on and ring the police, darling. Oh, and look at Brianka. What have you been up to? She says, well, I've been into the forest and I've been talking to the magic squirrel. Yes, I have, in the forest, whose name is Bob. So that's what she's been doing, love, yes, because that's not strange at all. So now Rue's going to ring the police, aren't you, love? Yes, you are. She's going to ring the police and she says, hello, is that Simville Police? And they say, no, it's actually the local wig shop. And she says, well, you're doing no good, are you, love? So she's now, oh, what are you doing, love? What's wrong, dear? Something gone missing. Oh, your wallet as well. He's stolen her wallet. Well, that's not very good. Her purse. Yes, her purse or wallet. I don't know which one she uses, love. I'm not sure. It's difficult to know with drag queens whether they use purses or wallets, love. Yes, that's right. Oh, now what are we going to do here, love? Shall we have a look inside? Oh, maybe we'll have another look at this, I think. Oh, look, is that DK Bowling? I think it is. She's playing the keyboard, yes. Oh, look at you, love. And have we got anyone else coming up here? Yes. Oh, we've got Rue. She's going to start singing, are you? Oh, we've got a few people now. Are we in for a performance? Is this performance time, love? Is it? I don't know if it is. I don't know if they're putting on a performance or not. It's a bit of a performance. Maybe we should just listen to her sing, love. Oh, my God, you're amazing. Well, that was short-lived, wasn't it, love? And thank God for that, because I couldn't have put up with that for much longer, darling. I think cats in Lithuania probably heard you, darling. Yes, I think so. Oh, and, oh, Brianka, what are you doing? Oh, is she coming back again? Where's Brianka disappeared to? Where are you, Brianka? To come up and help Rue. Come on, come on and help her, love. Play the guitar or something. Or the drums. Yes, she needs some backing. Yes, she does. And look at all the photographs on the wall, including Tina Burner. Is it Tina Burner or Trina Burner? I forget now, love. Yes, I'm getting old, sausage. I think I'm losing my mind. Yes, dear. Oh, I don't know if I like that singing, love. Your voice sounds like it's coming out of your underpants, darling. We can't be having you sounding like you're singing out of your underpants, can we, darling? No, we can't. Now, where's Brianka gone, love? We need Brianka. She needs to do some backing vocals or some music of some kind, darling, to drown out that voice of yours, dear. Yes, we do. Where is she? Oh, Brianka, come and help, love. We're going to start screaming at her down down the pathway in a minute if we can't find her. I should chase after her. Where have you gone, Brianka? Bloody hell, listen to that, love. That's no good, dear. You sound like you're singing out of your vagina. Can't be having you singing out of your vagina, love. No. What is the world coming to when a woman's singing out of her vagina? Oh my God, love, it sounds like you're singing out of your drag queen vagina, love. And here we've got Brianka. Hello, Brianka, what are you doing, love? And she says, I'm doing all sorts of things. Yes, I am. First of all, I'm going to put money in this little Cracker Barrels tip jar, and then I'm going to pick up the electric guitar and start playing Led Zeppelin music. Yes, I am. So she's going to play some Led Zeppelin in a minute, I think. Oh, first of all, they're going to shake hands and have a bit of a talk. Oh, and look at her, love. She's getting carried away on the guitar, but it doesn't sound like Led Zeppelin to me, love. No. Oh, she's getting carried away. I should let her sing. Let's listen to her music, shall we? Oh, love, you should sing some more, darling. You need some vocal tuition, dear. Yes, you need to listen to Roger, love. That's right, the vocal tutor. Oh, love. You sound a bit like Megan Trainer now. She's not too bad, is she, love? No. Oh, I quite like that. Some of that music's not too bad, dear. We might keep you on, love, yes. 
Oh, now that this man here, this pale man, I've seen him before. Isn't he a vampire? I think. I'm not sure, but he's very pale skinned, isn't he, love? He looks like he's a neighbor because though he doesn't get out in the sun much, love. That's right, dear. He looks like special people that live in the wardrobe. Oh, and look, it's White Chocolate Jesus again with his long hair and his big pectorials. And what are you doing, White Chocolate Jesus? Oh, are you going to come and play in the band? I think he is. Look, it's White Chocolate Jesus and he wants to play in the band. We wouldn't mind White Chocolate Jesus playing in the band, would we, love? No, we wouldn't. Oh, look at him prance around and showing off his abs. Now he's showing off his lateral muscles. You've got your pants pulled down too low, love. You need to pull them up a bit. We can see your crack. We don't want to see your crack, love. Pull them up here. Oh, my God. Move her, moving right along, sausage, yes. Look at the pictures of the drag queens on the wall, dear, yes. Ew. Oh, isn't that funny? He didn't like her music, but he's giving her a tip anyway, yes. And he says, but Nana Bear, I'm giving you a tip. I'm giving her a tip so she'll stop playing the music. He's going to go and have a fiddle with his drumsticks, yes he is. He's going to fiddle with his drumsticks, love. Oh, that was a wide stance, darling. You've been practicing. And now he's going to have a go on the drums. And I think we'll just listen to the music for a while, dear. And they'll stop talking so we can hear the music. Oh, look at him go. He's gorgeous, isn't he? Look at him. Well, I think I've left it long enough for you, for my audience to hear you sing Kumbaya and pull up your tights, love. So let's have a look at the Ferris wheel, I think, darling. Yes, let's have a look. And this is the last look you'll get at this Pride Centre, love, because this is the end of Pride Month. Well, it's actually way past Pride Month, love, but I'm a bit late with my videos. So, oh, look at Cheryl and Yarns. What are you doing, Cheryl and Yarns? She says, well, I'm walking upstairs. What does it look like I'm doing, Anna Beryl? Yes, and so I say, what are you doing, love? And she goes, I'm dancing, Chuck. I'm going to dance with all the popular people. So that's what she's doing. She's dancing with popular people. And look at her go, love. She's doing what's called the smussel. Yes, that's right. At the um, at the Haunted Mansion nightclub. Look at her, love. Look at her go, darling. Oh, my God, dear. You look amazing. Yes, she's dancing like a constipated panda bear, isn't she, dear? Yes, she is. Don't fall over, sausage. No, don't fall over, Chuck. Oh, she looks like an intoxicated squirrel, doesn't she? Oh, look at her go, love. That's right. Move those, move that tushy, darling. And is that Brianka? I think it is. No, Brianna, I mean. That's right, Brianna. That's Brianna, the lesbian standing beside you, love. The one that just fell over. She's the one that owns the drag theatre that we've seen in one of the earlier episodes, dear. She's going for it too, love. Yes. Nothing like a bit of lesbian is there, love. No, there's not. We all need a bit of lesbian now and then. Oh, just like I get my nails done by Lydia, the lesbian nail technician on a Friday, love. Yes, it's nearly Friday here in Australia, dear, so I'll be getting my nails done because I haven't had them done for a while and the colour's chipping off of them. They don't look as bright as that dance floor at all, love, no. I used to have little paintings on mine, dear, but I'm getting a bit old for that. Yes, I think, darling. Oh, look, they're really going for it, darling. I think you need an enema, dear. You look a bit squirmy. Oh, what are we doing in here, love? Let's go and have a look at Rue Moore. What are you doing, sausage? Where are you going? Are you sitting down? I think she's going to have something to eat, love. He's put her dresses all over the table. Look at it, dear. She wants to order some soup, but I don't think you need soup, love. No, I think you need a burger. Let's order you a burger, because it's Burger King, darling. I don't know if they sell soup here. She says, but I want soup. I want minestrone soup. I don't care if you want soup, love. They don't sell soup, so you can't get soup. Stop it, darling. Stop complaining. So, Rumo, what have you got there, love? What are you eating and drinking? And she says that she needs some emergency medical food. Yes, she does. So, she's going to eat the fruit juice and drink the lasagna, love. That's right, because her blood sugar level's a little bit low. She's lacking in energy, darling. Yes, she is. 
She's tired. Look at her, love. She looks exhausted. Yes, she does. She looks like a stoned koala bear. Yes, she does, darling. Oh, no, she's about to go home. She says, I've got things to do, Nana Beryl. I have to contact... I have to contact the internet. Yes, I've got to use cell phone Jesus called ChatGPT and make things for online sales. Yes, so she's going home to do that, aren't you, darling? Yes, you are. She's going to use the cell phone Jesus called ChatGPT. And I think even Dixie Cartel is thinking of going home soon, love. But she's sitting there grinning. Yes, she is. She's grinning and drinking. And, oh, don't grin too much, love. You look like a piranha with gum disease, darling. Oh, but we can't see her because we're looking side on. And what are you doing, Brianka? She says, well, I'm going home. I've got things to do too, and I'm very tired. I need to go home and feed my pussy. Yes, love, because her pussycat is waiting for her at home, love. She hasn't given it any jelly meat or cat biscuits. It's, it's called animal abuse, love. Yes, it is. How dare you abuse an animal by not giving it cat, bistic, cat biscuits and jelly meat, love. Oh, and who's your Uber driver, darling? She goes, none of your business, Nana Bear, I'm off. So she's going home. Yes, now I think the last one's to go home. Oh, yes. Oh, look, she's, she's noticed half-naked man. Yes. She goes, oh, look at him, love. He's a bit nice. I think everyone likes him, don't they? He's half-naked man. That's why he's standing there showing off his body. Isn't it, love? That's not narcissistic at all, love. No. Everyone's having a bit of a stare, aren't they? Yes, it's like a free show, love. It's like Chippendales, but better. Mm, yes, that's right, dear. Oh, look at him, even the person serving at the counter's noticed. Are you ordering another drink, love? Now, Dixie Cartel is having a bit of a talk to half-naked man. He says, I think I've met you somewhere before, maybe at the Santa Cave last Christmas. And she says, yes, I'm the one who had foam latex boobies. He says, oh, I remember you now, you're the one with tuck panties. So he's standing there hoping he'll get stared at a bit more before he leaves. Yes, because he's getting a bit tired and it's a bit cold to be roaming around in your underwear all day like that. Yes, that's right, love. It's not summer over there in Simville at the moment. Oh, look at him, love, yes. Oh, and look at the sign, Birkin. What are you doing? What are you doing, Dixie? She says, I'm brushing my teeth, Nana Beryl, in their basin, yes. She's brushing her teeth after eating and drinking. Oh, and look, they're both on the... Oh, look, they're both on the Ferris wheel now. Not Ferris wheel, I mean on the carousel. So we've got Priyanka, and we've also got Regina Regina, and she's waving, saying, Hello, Nana Bear. I say, Hello, lovelies. It's about time you got home and got some beauty sleep. God knows you need it. Oh, maybe you should go on the slide or the bouncy castle. And they say, no, Nana Beryl, we don't want to do that. No, we've already done that, love. They're just going to sit there waving until daytime. So that's what they're doing, love. Yes, I've been there nearly half the night. Look, they're waving. All right, love. Stop it, darling. It's a bit much. Yes, it is. We have to commit you to an asylum soon if you keep doing it for too long, dear. We'll have to call the mental health unit. Yes, we will. Have to have your section, dear. Yes, we might. Oh, and, oh, and they've also been in here. Look at them. They've moved in there. We're just fast-forwarding a bit. Yes, we are. Oh, and I think she's going to be ringing a taxi. And there's one of the staff members going home from Burger King. Oh, and yes, she's calling an Uber. Are you calling an Uber? She says, no, Nana Beryl, I'm calling a taxi. Now, please be quiet. I can't concentrate. I can't concentrate on my phone call. I can hardly hear myself think. One last look, love, before we finish the video. That's right, dear. Oh, and there's the Uber taxi. Now, where's Catcher gone? We haven't seen Catcher, have we? No, we haven't. And she says, Nana Beryl, Catcher's already gone home. She went home ages ago. She got tired and her makeup started running. Yes, that's right, love. Her mascara started running down her face, so she had to go home, love. Oh, so they're off now. Yes, they are. So I think that's where we'll leave it for today, love. Yes, they're about to go home and have a bit of a snooze. So I think Nana Bill needs to go too, love. Yes, I do. I need to take off my false eyelashes. So happy Pride Month, love, from me. Take care, love. Thank you so much for watching. You have a lovely evening, dear. Bye-bye.